Hello and welcome to this Tableau for Sport video. Uh, this one is around scraping data, so it actually doesn't have a lot to do with Tableau at the moment, but I am going to show you how you can bring all of these different sheets that I'm going to make back into Tableau in a second part. So this is where I want to be able to get data from a source, in this case fbref.com, have it in some sort of automated format where it's, it's continually getting the latest data, and then, as I said, feeding that into Tableau ultimately. Okay, now just one quick disclaimer, I've no idea around the legalities of scraping data and what the terms and conditions of various websites are. This is completely just a tutorial on a how-to, not, uh, not permission to do whatever you want with this, with this data. So you need to figure that out, that bit out yourselves. Okay, but hopefully this will give you an idea of how to get kind of regular data into, into Tableau. So let me just start at the end in a way and let me show you what I'm what I'm hoping to create. Okay, so within uh, the FBREF site, if we were to go to Premier League, I was interested in scraping some of the data, but I wanted it at a match level. So a lot of the tables here and the information is really great on this site driven by Statsbomb, um, but I wanted to get it at a match level. So if I click into Liverpool here as an example, there's a match logs section and I picked shooting as my example. But you can see here, there's goalkeeping, passing, and so on. So I wanted to be able to get all of this data into a, into a table. I wanted to do it for all 20 teams. And ideally, I wanted to figure out a way that it would update as well. So something I could either run or, or come back to without having to manually recreate every time there's a game played, because that would drive me bananas. And as an analyst and that kind of stuff, you're trying to find ways where you can automate as much of this as possible. Also to say, if you've got or a Python skills, there's probably much simpler ways to do this potentially. Uh, this is a way using Google Sheets. Um, so it requires no cost, no coding really. Um, and I, and I, I think it's a really, really simple way to do it. Okay, so this is what I wanted to achieve. This is my end result, is I have a tab for every team with that table feeding into it. Okay, so let's have a look at how you can achieve that. So I've opened up a blank Google Sheet and Google Sheets is a really, really nice feature if you've never come across it. And you can simply ask it to import HTML. You put in the, the right link, not that link. Let's try that one again. Uh, let me get the link first. So this is Liverpool. Uh, let me go into the match logs, the shooting. And I'm going to grab the link at the top of the page. Okay, so nothing more than that. And then we're going to go equals import. HTML, put the link in quotes. We want a table. There's different things you can scrape. And again, you could go off and figure those out. And then you put in the number of the table. Now, a little bit of trial and error, or if you know HTML, you can actually look at the page source and figure out what it is. But just go through zero to 10 until you figure it out. And as if by magic, there is the table of information for Liverpool. Okay. So in itself, that's really, really useful, really good. You could do this on any of the FBREF site uh, pages and the same thing same thing happens just to say it does refresh so i would have done this on another sheet uh, yesterday before the liverpool game and when i checked this morning the uh, brighton game was had, had updated so this is is refreshing i'm not entirely sure how often but it is going to the site and picking up new data okay so you've now got a dynamic table uh, in google sheets which is as a first step is brilliant they said i want to go one step further i want to be able to automate this a little bit maybe replicate it for other metrics, for passing, for goalkeeping and so on. So I wanted to build something even just a little bit more robust. So let's have a look at what I did. So I created this kind of master template sheet here and I wanted to deconstruct what one of the links looked like. So if we take a look at that Liverpool link that I've just pasted here, we can see that it's made up of the standard link then a unique identifier, each team has a unique identifier. And then there's some, you know, 2020 match logs, all comps, shooting rather than passing. And then the Liverpool 
match logs all competitions, which is just the kind of end text. And this is standard for them all. So once I looked at one or two of these links for the different teams, I could see what stays and what changes. Okay. And the two thing obviously is one is the team name. And secondly, is this unique identifier. Okay. And I could get that unique identifier if I go back to Premier League. If I right click copy link address and paste it in here, you can see there I get Leicester City stats, which is what they refer to it as, and this unique identifier. Okay, so I did, I copied out the 20 links for the teams in this cell B here. And then I, you know, used a couple of formulas and just stripped out the unique identifier and the actual team name. All right, so they're my next two. So unique identifier, uh, team name. Then I started to look through what, what the other one, so if it wasn't shooting, it was passing. So the, 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 two, the two things I need to update for any team is just the unique identifier and the team name. And then I just need to swap out shooting for passing for goalkeeping and so on. So rather than kind of do it in a, in a more manual way, I, I built this sheet, which would make it much easier to, to update. So for example, I could create a copy of this sheet. And if I wanted to say, what are all the passing stats? If I go and copy all of these down, the way I have it done in formulas is these last links here will take me to passing. So let's test this. Does this work for Chelsea? Chelsea match logs, passing all competitions. Okay, so you can see by building, and these are nothing more than concatenated fields and formulas. Um, I just broke down the various different parts of the link that I needed, and it would all populate in. So Chelsea would then be the passing link. Okay, so you can easily do this. I'm going to go back and, and change this back to shooting because that's the example I want to work with. But again, as an analyst, you're trying to build things that are robust. So I, I wanted to do it in this way. Okay, so let me show you the last couple of things that I did uh, with this. So next is I set up a sheet for each squad, okay? Um, so I'm gonna add a new sheet and just show you. It doesn't matter which team, let's pick uh, Spurs again. Okay. And what I could do here is I could say, Let's come down a row so I could say equals import HTML. But instead of putting the HTML actually in there, I'm going to say go and grab this link table number one. You can see on this Spurs 2 sheet that I've created, there is the table imported, but it's imported now from the link. So if I update the link, which I did to passing, this would then update as well, okay? Now, one thing I did notice when I imported it is every row is there twice for each team, not each team, one is, one is actually the team you're analyzing, Tottenham in this case, and one is the opponent in that week. It's, it doesn't appear in the table, which is funny, but when I looked at the code of the table, there's a, there's a hidden row for every game. So I needed to add one more step to this. So what I did was insert a link here or a, a cell here, and I simply put a Y or an N. Okay, so I'm going to call this uh, keep a Y or an N, and let's scroll all the way down. Now I've added loads more rows because remember they're going to play loads more games. So, you know, you could drag that down to whatever they play, 100, 200 games, whatever it is. Um, and it's just each, every second row is the one you really want. So we're going to use this in Tableau later on to be able to filter all of these things out. Okay, now check this. I think this is the logic that works, but obviously validate this yourself. Okay, so that's what I did. I did this. I created one kind of template here. So let's say the Spurs with the with the column, Spurs 2 with the column here, and then I could duplicate the sheet. Call it, I'll call it Liverpool 2 in this 
in this example, sorry, Liverpool 2 in this example, and the only thing I should need to update is instead of taking the second row from my master sheet, it takes the third row, and there's Liverpool, and there's my column done. So once you set up one of these sheets, it's a fairly quick task to replicate this for the other 20 teams. And you could do it across leagues and across all sorts of other metrics and everything like that. Okay, so I, I think that's really, really useful. The next stage is I'm going to bring that into Tableau and I'm going to show you how you merge all those 20 sheets together and clean up a few of the, the kind of discrepancies that happen. But hopefully that was useful as a starting point to getting kind of automated data flows into a, a Google Sheet at least to start with. So thanks for watching.